Hey guys, so uh, now that I've filmed a bunch of videos about stuff that I've bought for myself, I thought it would be nice to film a video uh, about stuff that I'm giving to others. So this is a gift guide and I have quite a few different types of gifts that you can give or people um, that you may have in your life. So um, I don't really have any beauty gifts because I feel like there's so many videos and um, it's so easy really to buy beauty gifts. They kind of come prepackaged. So anyway, I thought I would give you some ideas if you have sort of particular people in your life that you're shopping for. Uh, so the first item that I'm going to show you is a cookbook. Um, so obviously if you know someone um, who likes to cook. And um, this is it's quite hefty. It's huge. Look at that. Um, it's called The Food Lab by J. Kenji Lopez-Alt. Uh, Better Home Cooking Through Science. Um, and you can see it has this nice kind of foil on the cover. It's how thick it is. So it's, it's pretty hefty. Um, but what I like about this, I think this would especially appeal to uh, a guy who likes to cook, anyone kind of scientifically or technically minded, um, someone who uh, liked watching Elton Brown or like America's Test Kitchen or anything like that, like a very kind of methodical approach uh, to cooking. Um, so just to highlight a few things in here, uh, one of the reasons or the way I discovered this book was um, they had an interview uh, on NPR and just kind of basic things that you think you know how to do but he kind of finds the perfect way of doing it. So for example, boiled eggs, right? Everyone knows how to boil an egg, or at least they think they do. Uh, so this picture uh, shows eggs boiled for 30 second intervals from 0 to 12 minutes. So completely raw to, I think, 12 minutes up in the corner there. So uh, talking about something as simple as boiling an egg, uh, I remember watching Rachel Ray, like when I was in high school or something, and she had said that the best way to boil an egg is to put the eggs into cold water in a pan, bring it to a boil, and then once it reaches a boil, take it off the heat, cover it, and leave it for like 10 or 12 minutes. And that way, it's a much gentler way of cooking and you don't run the risk of overcooking your eggs and getting that green color to the yolk. Well, the problem with that, at least that I found, is that you often have a really hard time peeling your eggs. Uh, in fact, cooking them that way is pretty much the worst way to get a very clean peel. What you want to do is bring the water to a boil and then put your eggs in because that kind of, you know, the hot water immediately hits the outside of the egg, uh, the, what's it called, the white inside the shell. And so it kind of creates that like cooked barrier, if that makes any sense. Uh, and then you can either lower the temperature, or do whatever. But uh, so anyway, so just kind of things like that. And he also talks about how all the chefs say that you want to sear your meat at a really high temperature to kind of lock in the juices. But he said that doesn't actually do anything and it actually will probably dry out the meat more than cooking at a lower temperature. Um, so just really interesting things. And you can see like kind of basic things that you know are really helpful and just have a ton of pictures like how to carve a turkey. Um, so it, for me it's kind of more of a, a reference book and kind of an educational tool but I think Anyone who's really interested in kind of mastering their, their culinary skills will really enjoy it. And I bought that as a gift, but I have a feeling I'm going to have to purchase a copy for myself. Um, that was around $27 on Amazon, so not too bad for a book of that size and quality. And of course, no, <laughs> I said I wasn't going to do beauty books, but I feel like this is kind of an exception. Um, this is Lisa Eldridge's book. This is Face Paint, The Story of Makeup. I'm sure you've heard of it. Um, it's a really gorgeous book, really nice quality, and I think, you know, I would put this under the category of, like, coffee table books. Like, you can see the inside has all these gorgeous pictures of makeup, really nice images, the quality of the paper is really great. Um, and this, I want to say this is under $20, again, on Amazon. So anyone, um, any beauty lover who... Uh, whether or not they know who Lisa Eldridge is, I think they'll appreciate this book. 
um, especially if they have an interest in history or the evolution of things. Um, I think this is a really gorgeous book. Alright, so another gift um, for a man in your life, perhaps. Um, I got this for my dad. He doesn't watch my videos, so. Um, this is a Dremel tool, and, you know, thinking of what a guy might like, um, I don't know about you, but I find it very hard to shop for some men, <laughs> um, like my dad, and, um, you know, you think of, like, things that you might want to get them, like, um, spa type gifts or whatever and they don't want that. They they want tools and they want toys <laughs> really is what they want. Um, so this is a Dremel. This was about $40 on Amazon. Um, it's cordless. Um, comes with a lot of attachments so um, to be honest I'm not sure exactly. I, I can't think of a thing I would use this for but um, apparently my dad expressed interest in having one so I picked that up. All right, another kind of gift for, um, I think, more female-oriented, although um, this can also apply to um, men, I think. So um, one thing that I think is pretty widely appreciated would be a nice pair of um, flannel pajamas. I actually got these from Costco earlier this year, so I don't think they're currently available. They were like 20 bucks, which these are Monkey Monkey, which um, is a pretty decent brand and is pretty highly priced at like department stores so uh, I haven't been to Costco recently so I can't tell you if they currently have any from this brand but uh, they are really cute this has um, <laughs> a bunch of different wine bottles and wine glasses obviously I have a wine lover in mind um, to give this to but uh, yeah I think I think you know obviously you kind of have to know roughly what size someone is but uh, Pajamas, I think, you know, you can err on the side of them being big, and especially if they're a drawstring, um, you know, they can be adjusted a little bit. Um, so nice pair of flannel pajamas. Um, Target also has some nice ones um, from the brand Nick and Nora, and I've gotten pajamas from them in the past, and they held up really well, and they're nice quality, so... Uh, they carry men's and women's and children's, I think, too. So, again, around the $20 mark. So, nice little gift there. And if you really want to go the extra mile with that, you can kind of put together a whole, like, cozy winter pamper kind of package. I got these from Ulta um, fairly recently. These are the Earth Therapeutics Aloe Moisture Aloe Socks. Um, and these are black and these are gray, obviously. Um, but these are really cozy. Um, I think these are more women's sizes, although they're one size fits all. I suppose you get these for guys. They want to be extra cozy. Uh, because they're, they're, um, they have some sort of aloe that's incorporated into the fabric, uh, the aloe does wash out eventually, but you want, they feel good regardless. They're kind of that like chenille, fuzzy, cozy fabric. Um, you want to be careful like walking on tile floors or any sort of flooring like it can get a little slippery uh, but the, these are really great and I think each of these they have like specials like buy one get one 50% off a lot but um, I think these are under like $10 usually if you want to be a little more creative um, the brand Hot Socks has really nice um, kind of designed socks um, these have um, like part of the Degas ballerina um, painting on them. Um, so if you know someone that has a particular interest, they have like art history kind of oriented ones like uh, Starry Night and the Mona Lisa and Botticelli and all those types of things. Um, so these are these are nice, just fun socks. I think anyone can kind of appreciate just a fun pair of socks just to wear around the house or whatever. On top of that, this would be kind of a pre-pajama item. They're basically lush bath bombs without the lush price tag. Um, I got these from Ulta. They are called FNB, I think is the brand. Uh, it says all natural, no parabens. Uh, they're, you know, sodium bicarbonate, citric acid, Epsom salt, uh, aloe vera oil, vitamin E, coconut oil, grapeseed oil, sweet almond oil, olive oil, avocado oil, sunflower oil, jojoba oil, witch hazel, uh, more vitamin E and a blend of fragrances and some dye maybe um, yeah but these are like bath bombs basically this is oatmeal milk and honey 
It smells really nice. And I think these might be like, these big ones might be like $6. Um, but they had, I think these were like buy one, get one half off. Um, and you know the Lush ones never really go on sale. So um, you can get the Lush ones if you like. Um, those tend to be a little bit more festive. But um, if you want a more budget option, this one's Rose Garden. That's really nice. Um, or if you don't have a Lush near you or whatever, um, those are nice as well. All right, so another um, gift for the beauty lover in mind, or this this gift can really be um, adjusted, I guess. But um, Starbucks has these really nice um, boxed mugs that they came out with. This is um, called the Dot Collection because it has a big gold dot. Um, but I I like this design in particular. All right, so I really love this. You can see it has like a a hand with a little bracelet and um, holding a compact with the reflection so obviously for the coffee slash beauty lover in your life um, this would be a great one it sold out online as far as I can tell and I had to look around for it from uh, a few different Starbucks so um, I was glad I finally found it but if you can't find it don't get discouraged it's just a mug <laughs> um, but they do have tons of other designs, um, so you could get something pretty generic or something that's more tailored to someone's tastes, but um, you could you could just like stick a bow on this and call it a day. And a nice thing to do um, to kind of go with that gift would be um, to include a little Starbucks gift card. So they always come out with a cup-shaped one, which is really cute. It has the um, design of the year, which is just a red mug in this case. Uh, it has the year and then it has even just like this little um, sleeve kind of looking thing that goes on it and on the back it says to from and you can indicate the dollar amount if you want um, has a little ribbon so you could you could just tape it and it would function as like a gift label and a nice little treat or the regular gift cards um, come with a to from envelope so you could tape that to the top and it would be ready to go. Um, I just wanted to show you, to go with that mug, um, they had this kind of makeup um, design which I thought was really nice. So that would be in a really nice pairing. Um, and it says hello lovely. So that'd be really cute. Or again if you want to be more generic, uh, this one just has like a gingerbread man on it. So. Uh, lots of different designs, you know, any sort of direction you want to go in. All right, and I also wanted to highlight a brand called um, Uncommon Green. It's www.theuncommongreen.com. And they began basically by um, making drinkware with maps etched onto them. So um, they've done like old fashioned glasses, uh, pint glasses, wine glasses. Um, this one is a coffee mug, or tea, or whatever you want to drink. Um, but this has, obviously, Washington, D.C. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but it has the map kind of design in it. Um, and they have, they have all kinds of different cities. Like, not even super big ones. Like, they have smaller cities as well. So, definitely worth checking out, um, if you know someone who kind of wants to display their local pride. Um, so I've got the coffee mug for myself, actually. And then they've also branched into some different kind of designs. They have some, like, geeky um, type designs with, like, DNA sequences and pie and all that sort of thing. Um, for the, the history lovers, um, this is an etch. This is, like, printed or whatever. Um... But this has the beginning of the Constitution on it. I don't know if you can see that. Um, on a rocks glass. And each of these, I want to say, is under $20. Like, somewhere in there. Um, and this is the Declaration of Independence. Again, try to... So, so just a really fun kind of way to... I don't know show that you know what someone likes. They uh, they started doing books recently. Um, so lots of different ones like, I think they have Tale of Two Cities and 
Pride and Prejudice maybe, and I don't know, just lots of different things that you can choose from. Uh, they also started doing um, these College Town Map um, pint glasses, and these come in a set of two, so um, these are going to someone who um, is a Virginia Tech grad. Um, so they have the school colors, which are maroon and orange, and um, it says Blacksburg, which is where the school is. I think these are identical designs, but one's maroon or burgundy or whatever, and one's orange. And they have the coordinates, and uh, like it says, the school right there, Virginia Tech. Um, so anyway, so th these are a nice kind of subtle school spirit type of thing, and to go with that, they recently launched what is called a Boston Shaker. Um, so it's a, it's like a cocktail shaker. Um, this one has a really nice, like, compass design um, etched into it. Uh, these are, I'm pretty sure they're stainless steel. Uh, but basically a Boston Shaker is, you would take just a normal glass, pint glass, and they form a seal you know, and then you would shake and I'm not a professional bartender by any means, but you break the seal and then you pour the drink or whatever. Um, so anyway, so just I guess a more classic way of doing a cocktail. Um, but I like the design as well. So I thought those were cool. So that was all from um, Uncommon Green. So cool little company. I have not been able to keep lipstick off my teeth, so if you see it and it bothers you, I'm sorry, but bear with me. Um, I kind of wanted to show a few different hostess gift options, like if you're going to your in-laws or just, you know, spending time with family and you want to just show a nice little token of your appreciation for all they do to make your visit comfortable. Um, one really good thing that you can do um, is the... Pears from Harry and David, and as you can see, I've eaten all except this one. Um, and usually only one per box comes with like a foil wrapping. The others are just like normal pears. Uh, and I actually picked these up from Trader Joe's. Uh, it doesn't say anything. It doesn't say that this was a Trader Joe's exclusive, but my Trader Joe's just happened to have them. Um, and I think they were like $8 for this box. I feel like they have different levels at Harry and David, so you can kind of choose. I will say that the ones I've purchased from Harry and David directly in years past tasted better. Like, I don't know if that's just my imagination or just luck of the draw or whatever, but they just were juicier. And I feel like anyone who, even if they aren't a super big fruit lover, will definitely appreciate these. And I feel like they're also good. I mean, I can't think of anyone I know who's allergic to pears. Um, there, may, there may be people out there, but I feel like giving fruit, um, especially pears, you don't have to worry about someone who's diabetic or watching their weight. I mean, I think, I think it's a pretty solid thing. If you want a more accessible option, those boxes of clementines that you can find at the grocery store for like five bucks, um, I think those would be a really nice, like, you know, just to have something out, you know, that people can nibble on, um, that's relatively healthy during the holidays, um. Those are always um, nice to have around. Uh, if you want something a little bit more decadent, you can go with um, Godiva or a similar box of chocolates. Um, of course, Godiva is always, you know, who doesn't love some Godiva, right? Uh, this doesn't really go with the someone who is not watching their weight or maybe diabetic or you don't know, but. Um, you know, it's nice to have some, especially if you can share them. Uh, so this is obviously like a Christmas design, but I think this has, yeah, it even has like a two from tag on it if you need to indicate that. But, you know, it's already wrapped. You can just hand it over and be done. Um, all right, so just a couple more things. I kind of, these things are, uh, in my extended family, uh, we do like a white elephant gift, uh, so you don't have to worry about buying gifts for everyone. You just, each person brings like one 
$30 gift basically. Uh, so the first thing um, that I have to share for that, uh, these are really popular, they're like everywhere right now, but um, just some of the Moscow mules. I've seen these like in my local grocery store. Um, I bought these from Home Goods um, for $30 for a set of four, so I thought that was a pretty good price. If you really want to go the extra mile, I mean, obviously this is very wrappable as it is, um, but if you wanted to, you could include the ingredients to make the Moscow Mule, which is lime juice, vodka, ginger beer, and that's it, and ice. But wrapping ice would be hard. Um, yeah, really, I, I like the illustrations on this. They're kind of like classic cocktail looking people. Yeah, and honestly, like, I, I made this recipe before. I, I bought a set of two for myself to keep here. Um, and this I'm going to give away, but uh, I actually like the ginger beer just by itself without the lime juice or the vodka. But anyway, nice little um, gift there. I think, I think alcohol related gifts are always pretty popular unless you know someone who doesn't drink and then maybe not so much. But um, anyway, all right, I saved the best for last, I think. Um, so this is a gift where it's kind of a gag gift. Um, so you could do it for a white elephant. Um, I would just say know your audience, right? If, if, if you're meeting your boyfriend's parents for the first time, I wouldn't suggest bringing this as a gift. It, you know, it wouldn't probably go over that well. Um, but this is what it looks like. Any guesses? Nice little box. Um, but anyway, it opens like so. It's a toilet. Um, I don't know why I find this so amusing. Um, but anyway, this is a, a, a poopery gift set. And, um, it's obviously, I think for me the gag is that it's shaped like a toilet. And the item itself. I've never used it, so I can't say. I know Nicole from Young, Wild, and Polished has said that she has used it and it's good, but, um... Yeah, if, if you haven't seen the commercials, which I don't know what planet you've been living on, um, but basically it, it's like some essential oils that you spray, here it says, spritz the bowl before you go and no one will ever know. And it has this and the tissue paper is meant to look like the water. And then you can see in there it has the original citrus, 4 fluid ounce, the lavender vanilla in 1.4 fluid ounce, or the original citrus in like a travel size. Um, so I, I just, I think this is hilarious. I got this at Ulta, by the way, and I think it was around $30. So, um, <laughs> going out on a high note, as usual. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed um, some of those ideas. I tried to not repeat a bunch of what other people have said, but, you know, these are gifts that I've actually purchased to give away to uh, my friends and family. So uh, anyway, please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll talk to you soon.